Once long ago, there was a young girl. Remember what it is like to be young. Remember what it must have been like for this girl. We have all been young once. The very world was young once. And this girl was young. And yet she lived on her own. She was alone, and yet she did not feel lonely. She had a house. She had a garden. And in this garden, she spent most of her days. She cared for this garden. She cared for this garden in more ways than one. The garden was cared for by her, and also she had much care for the garden. It was the garden that took most of her time. It was the garden that took most of her life. It was the garden that received most of her love. And yet she had one other love. This little girl loved the moon. She would gaze at it often when the night was full and the stars were bright, and the sky was black and also shining and twinkling. And she would look at the moon, and she would laugh at the many faces it made. She would caress it with her hand, reaching up into the sky and cupping the moon with her hand, never reaching it, of course, but pretending that she could, pretending that she could hold this shining stone in her hand, that she could have this beauty for her own. The years passed by this way. The little girl cared for her garden, and the little girl loved the moon. One day, there was a time a very arbitrary time, but a time very real nonetheless, when she was no longer a little girl anymore. She was instead a young woman. And on this day, as the sun set and the heat dissipated and the young woman walked out to care for her garden in all of the ways that she could, there was a stranger in the middle of her garden, awaiting her. Little girl walked forward boldly, for she had lived on her own for a very long time and knew how to take care of herself. And she held not fear, only trepidation for this stranger. She called out to the stranger to ask who it was. And as the stranger turned around, she saw a boy. He was not a very little boy. He was not a grown man. He was perhaps a young man or perhaps an old boy. And he had bright silver hair. The boy smiled at her and the smile was infectious. The young woman could not help but smile in return. And before she could ask him his name, the young boy twirled about and as his back was shown to the young woman there stood a dark-eyed girl as she met the gaze of this girl she saw blackness where her eyes should be and long auburn hair the young the dark-eyed girl had a smile as well, and this one was not as mirthful, but more somber, and yet it was a smile nonetheless. The young woman took a step towards the stranger again, as the stranger once again twirled and became once again the silver-haired boy. The silver-haired boy reached out a hand to the young woman, and the young woman, entranced, reached out her hand and took the hand of the dark-eyed girl. And then they began to dance.
they spun slowly at first as the young woman danced with the silver-haired boy and then the dark-eyed girl and then the silver-haired boy again. And as they spun and as they danced, the young woman knew who it was that she shared her time in her garden with. It was the only one she had ever loved, come perhaps to return that love to her. And they danced and they twirled, and they danced and they twirled, and they rose up into the sky, the silver-haired boy and the dark-eyed girl keeping a tight hold of the young woman as they drew them up to dance with them amongst the stars and amongst the blackness and void of the sky. But there came a time, as there is a time with all people, where she could not exist only in the moment she was, but had to look about her and see where she was going and where she had come from. And as the young one looked out, she saw the vast expanse of the sky. She was filled with wonder. And then she looked down and saw the far away vista of the earth. And she was filled with fear. And in her fright, she let go of the silver haired boy and she lost her grip of the dark-eyed girl. And she fell. And she fell. The silver-haired boy and the dark-eyed girl went back to the little garden and the little land and the little continent and the little world. And they saw the body of what was once a little girl, of what was once a young woman, of what would never be an old woman. And they waited, the silver-haired boy and the dark-eyed girl, they waited for her to rise. For they knew that every night they fell as well, and yet they always rose again. Everything in the sky fell and rose again every night, and they waited, and they waited. But the young woman never rose again, and eventually the silver-haired boy and the dark-eyed girl had to retake their place in the sky, dancing once again with the stars. And yet their dance would forevermore feel as if it was missing something, for they had gained something, the silver-haired boy and the dark-eyed girl. They had gained a memory of a young woman who once had loved the moon.